Hello and Merry Christmas from Plumpy Thimble. Today I'm here with my son Bruce and we're going to be talking about 10 games that we think, well, that I think would be really great as gifts. Now these aren't for people that are really heavily into the hobby because if you know someone that really, really, really loves board games, uh, j just ask them what they like for Christmas. That's going to be your easiest bet. So here it is, our top 10 or 10 games this year that we would like to recommend as good gifts. Now first and foremost, I would recommend Colosseum because Christmas is all about this spectacle and what better spectacle than running your own Colosseum in ancient Rome. In this game you roll dice, you auction off set pieces, and you put together the biggest and best show that you can. Next up on our list is Torres, a game where you are competing to build castles. And really it's a, it's a fun game about construction and being the, not only the person with the biggest castle but being the highest up on that castle. Because you want to let everyone know just how superior, you, how superior you are at building. Oh. And sometimes the holidays can be really stressful and, and you're trying to figure out how to make ends meet and, and how you can possibly financially feed your family, let alone buy them gifts. For a game that captures that feeling, I recommend buying Agricola. You are farmers back in the day and every single harvest season you were desperately scrounging to come up with enough resources to feed your family and I mean points is almost a second thought as, as to survival in this game. And so that's why I highly recommend one of my favorite games, Agricola. And sometimes food is going to be plentiful and in a game where you're just scrounging to get as much food as you possibly can, I highly recommend Evolution Climate. In this game players are working on their own specific species and adding traits to it in order to not only survive and eat the most food, but in some cases build up survival mechanisms so strong that they start eating the other players. It's competitive and you eat a ton of food, so I highly recommend this game. There's certain elements about the holiday season that really brings the family together and nothing I think so does so more than, than gambling. Now with the Vegas Dice game you can go through all the motions of gambling without any risk of actually losing any money. Um, or even points for that matter because you're just making points. A lot of Christmas preparations are centered around food and what better game to play than Herbaceous, a game where you are picking and gathering herbs. And the best part is, if your family's not interested at all, you can play it by yourself. Perhaps a little bit more difficult than some of the games on this list, I am going to recommend Argent the Consortium. It's a huge game in which players are competing to become the next head of a magical school. Um, and in so doing, they're trying to figure out what the voters are looking for and to achieve those goals themselves. Kokoro, Avenue of the Kodama, is a game which lets players create paths and forests. Uh, I guess they're leading worms and flowers to little sanctuaries within the forest. Now it's a cool little game because it plays just as well with one player as it does with eight players and really if you've got multiple sets you can play with as many people as you have. It's a, a thinky, puzzly little game and one of my favorites that I backed this year on Kickstarter. A board game staple for families is Monopoly and I mean I'm going to get some flack for even including this on the list but I'm going to include Monopoly Gamer Edition as a really great Christmas gift because it condenses Monopoly into a 45 minute um, essentially Mario Kart or Mario Party like type situation. I like Ralph. There's no, there's no Wreck-It Ralph in this one. That would be pretty cool though. Yeah. And lastly for a game that I think would make a great gift is Century Spice Road. Now this is the Gollum edition so this isn't... It's, it's essentially the same game. It just looks a whole lot cooler than the one that's, that's cheaper. But in this game you are trading cubes and uh, turning them into other cubes, in, in which case you use those to buy cards, which get you points, and then whoever has the most points. It's really not a very interesting sounding game when I explain it, and it wasn't one that I was interested in until I actually tried it. And it works well, it's easy to learn and teach, and it's an absolute blast. Our top 10 gifts that we would highly recommend to give as board games this year for anyone that is even remotely interested in board gaming. So have a wonderful season with your fam friends and family. Merry Christmas from Plumpy Thimble. It's a really fun dice game where it places everything similar to Nazi fruit. Nazi. <laughs>